Do you struggle to feel connected when praying, worshiping, studying the Bible, during fasting, or carrying out any spiritual activity? Then, this video is for you. Don't go nowhere. Praise the name of the Lord. I once had a man of God who said he was being criticized so badly, he felt so bad, and then he flew out of this nation to go and meet one of the fathers of faith and he was talking to him and he said sir i mean how could i i love my people with all my heart i've been serving them with integrity of heart how could they say this about me and he said according to him he said the father of faith was just smiling at him and when he was done the only thing he told him was that sit down let me tell you my story he had only gone halfway the story and the man said that's all right i've received my motivation if what happened to you you are still standing you mean you went through this kind of thing it is true that uneasy lies the head that wears the crown. Don't desire realms you are not prepared for. Honestly, there are times you need to thank God for what you call delay. Because the forces that are waiting for you there, if you are not built, you will hate the throne because of what happens there. Are we together? Critics and naysayers confirm that you are making notable progress in life. But they can also be used to caution you from decline and to caution you from destruction. I repeat one last time. You will need both supporters and critics. Unfortunately, you don't have to invite any of them. They come on their own. This is what makes it painful. No sane man will invite naysayers to their lives. The system was designed to bring both. So on one hand, they are calling you king of kings while they are eating the bread that was multiplied. Then, a few weeks later, they curse you to your face and say, release Barabbas instead of this one. Let his blood be on our children. And Jesus was silent and he looked at them with compassion. He even said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Is someone learning? By this teaching, when you see anyone who you perceive to be an overcomer, now you can respect them. These are the keys. Painful keys, you see. Painful keys. So when you look at fathers of faith, like our father in the Lord, Daddy Adeboe, you imagine at 81, turning 82, that's how old he has been criticized. That's how old he may have been misunderstood. But that man you see right there is a testament of endurance. Our father, Daddy Onibogu, who comes here all the time you see him, he's turning 85 now. 85 years old. There are people who cannot survive two months in an organization. They pray and they fast for that position. They become a director and in two weeks, they have 39 mails full of insults. They say, I want to leave this office. What is this? Yet someone was sitting there for 16 years and thanking God every Sunday. <laughs> One of the ways God helps you is by giving you your desires. If you insist, he will give you. Lord, I must become a senator. What is there in, in taking care of a constituency? I know I can do it. And God says, be careful. I know all these people, they are just thieves and I'm robbers. And God answers your prayer by helping you to win election. As soon as you get there, you discover that the amount of insults you get from those who are entitled alone. You want to leave that office. Have you noticed all those who become presidents, they live quietly? Have you noticed in Nigeria and across the globe? There is nobody who leaves that place just rejoicing and saying, mm -mm, quietly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Have you seen many who work in certain organizations? By the time they are about to retire, they are quiet. They give thanks to God. Those who are waiting for that position, the people are not even fighting. No problem. Just allow me to retire and go. And then the person who gets in there, he gets in there with zeal. Don't worry. In 10 days, I will transform this organization. And after two years... They look for every man of God they can find. Something must be going wrong. Nothing is wrong. That's how it is. That's how it is. That's how it is. 
Lord, you must give me triplets. I don't want just a child. And someone is saying, don't worry. You, I want triplets. And God says, all right, answer her prayer. Then the triplets come. And you don't know what to do with yourself after two months. You call all your friends and say, sorry, we are busy. And you say, you are wicked. You say, no, no, no. Just do your thing. It's your cross. Carry it. I once listened to a message years ago. I think it's by T.D. Jakes or so. Can you stand to be blessed? Very powerful message. It takes stamina to sustain the blessing. Many people are praying for what is bigger than them. There are things you call delay, but it's the mercy of God to prepare you first so that what you are praying for does not become what kills you.